Oracle Mobile Platform team. In this video, we're going to investigate setting up Oracle Mobile Cloud Service or SMS services. Now, for viewers familiar with MCS, you will be aware that it supports the concept of push notifications for sending registered devices messages. In addition, MCS has the capability to send SMS messages as another channel for communicating with your mobile users. Which channel you use is actually up to you. But generally speaking though, there are a few key differences you need to be aware of in determining which one you should use. So for push notifications, users tend to pay less attention to notifications as they get so many of them. Mobile users can also easily turn them off. And in general, users, as they get so many push notifications, are less likely to act on them when they're received. Conversely, users who receive SMSs are more likely to pay attention to them as they cannot turn them off. And as a result, they're more likely to be acted upon. So they are more useful in general. However, push notifications cost nothing to send, while SMSs have an associated cost per message. So they aren't the definitive answer, especially when a company's budget comes to mind. Also keep in mind, neither push notifications or SMS are guaranteed to reach the recipient. So you need to be careful not to rely on this for critical notifications. Anyway, as I said, it's your choice which to use, possibly both for your application or even giving a user the choice. In supporting SMS messages, Oracle Mobile Cloud Service itself does not actually send SMS messages. Rather, MCS hooks into a third-party SMS provider, Cineverse, which when receiving an SMS from MCS, then relays it to the mobile devices. As such, for the rest of this video, we're going to look at setting MCS up to use Cineverse to send SMS messages. In order to use SMS services via MCS, you must have an account with Cineverse. Now, Cineverse allows you to set up an account for development and demo purposes fairly easy, and that's what I'll demonstrate in this video. Alternatively, if you want to use SMS for production purposes, you must contact the Cineverse sales team and purchase the appropriate production licenses. Now, be warned, the approval process for accessing SMS services via Cineverse is in some cases dependent on regulatory approval by various country federal government departments. And as you can appreciate, this can take some time. As such, if you're looking to use Cineverse for production purposes, keep this in mind that there may be a large delay in receiving final authorization and do keep that in mind for your project plan too. Anyway, as I mentioned in this video, I'll show you how to set up Cineverse and MCS for development and demo purposes. So there essentially there are a number of steps we need to undertake, a section of which are undertaken in the Cineverse developer web console and the rest within MCS. I rule the steps in order are, first, we need to sign up with the Cineverse developer console, whereupon Cineverse will automatically create an account for us. We then subscribe to their messaging services. And next, we create an application setup to represent our mobile app using SMS. In doing this, this will give us a number of keys which we will use in the MCS configuration in a moment. For testing purposes, we then need to set up a whitelist of acceptable mobile numbers to send SMS to, practically your mobile number. That concludes the Cineverse setup. From there, we need to configure MCS. First, we then create a mobile backend client profile to represent Cineverse, where we enter the keys supplied by Cineverse. Having done all of this, we then need to register devices with MCS to send the SMSs to. And finally, at a latter point, we can send SMS messages via MCS, which are relayed to Cineverse and on sent to the respective mobile devices. Okay, with these steps that are required, let's now demo the actual steps so you get an understanding of how to actually implement them. So first, we need to sign up to the Cineverse developer community. We do this by visiting developer.cineverse.com. On clicking on the sign up button, we will then be prompted to add various account details. Once done, Cineverse will send us a confirmation email where we follow the relevant link to activate our new accounts. Having done this, we return to the developer website sign in, then select the top down drop down, then the company option, where we then set up a new company to represent the business that we work for and assigning the SMS services up for. 
Now note at the bottom of this page, you can see that Cineverse has given us a $5 credit to try out their services. Next, we select the Service Offerings tab, followed by the Voice and Messaging Offering link. We expand the Subscription section and click the Subscribe button. In the resulting dialog under the account, we select the option Initial Account for, and then our account name. In my case, it's Chris C. Muir. Then we accept the terms and conditions and select Confirm. As a result, under Subscriptions, we can see our new account added. And then finally, for testing purposes, we need to add the phone numbers we will use during testing as a whitelist. Next, we need to register our app with Cineverse. Now in turn, Cineverse will then give us a number of keys or credentials to use in setting MCS up in a moment. So MCS can then send SMS messages via Cineverse. Selecting the Applications tab, then New Application, we enter the name of our app and a description followed by Save. In the resulting box, we select the Gears icon, then Edit. Expand the Account and APIs area, and in the Account field, select Our Account, followed by Save. In the resulting options, we need to turn on SDC Gateway Services, White Listing Services, and Voice and Messaging, followed by selecting Save. Under the Applications Permission section, we then click the first checkbox to give our app full entitlements. Finally, under the Auth Key section, we copy down the three keys, as we'll be using this in MCS in a moment. Having configured Cineverse, we're now in a position to set up MCS so it can talk to the Cineverse account and SMS services that we just enabled. This requires for MCS within a mobile backend, we configure a client and profile for Cineverse itself. In MCS, we select the mobile backend for our app. then Clients, and add a new client. Next for the client, we create a profile, selecting the Cineverse SMS option as the notification services. Now the Channel ID option, this takes some explaining. Now a Channel ID is a code that is supplied by Cineverse. It represents a code for every country you want to send SMS messages to where your mobile users reside. Now, at first this seems a bit odd. Why not just allow SMS messages to be sent to users in any country? The problem is each country has various prices for SMS. In some countries, SMS costs more than others. And in some countries, they have different legislation about sending SMSs to. So rather than just allowing unrestricted capabilities to send out SMSs to every country, you need to explicitly add each country you want to support. And you do this by supplying a channel ID from Cineverse for that country. Now, in order to retrieve the channel ID for the countries you want to support, we need to return to the Cineverse developer web UI. On selecting the service offerings, note the link button to the top right of the voice and messaging offering box. By selecting this, it takes us to the Cineverse Communications Gateway. This gateway shows you things like incoming and outgoing SMS, various analytical reports, and so on. Of interest to us, under the Messaging Accounts, then Public Channels options, this option displays all the country channels available to us, including the relating channel ID for each that we need for MCS. Such for Australia, where I reside, on filtering the list, I can see this Australian channel with the following channel ID. It's this we copy back to the MCS mobile backend client profile screen. Now the obvious question then is in MCS, how do we add support for sending SMSs to multiple countries as the channel ID field only supports one ID? To do this, you need to add a client profile per country. Next is this very important checkbox, content management enabled. 
As a person who owns their own mobile device, in the past you've probably received unsolicited SMSs which are annoying, you'll agree. Now, SMS service providers are now very wary of sending unsolicited emails, and Cineverse is no exception. If Cineverse receives complaints from mobile users that they're receiving unsolicited SMSs, Cineverse can shut your Cineverse account down. In order to put some checks and balances around this, Cineverse, when receiving an SMS to send out, can send out an initial SMS to a mobile user to ask them if they want to receive SMS messages. The mobile user then can opt in or out, and Cineverse keeps track of this. As such, the Content Management Enable checkbox here is a flag to turn this Cineverse feature on. Alternatively, with this checkbox turned off, you're telling Cineverse that you, or more specifically your app, will check if the user wants to opt in or out of SMS services. Later, if you ask Cineverse to send a message to a mobile user, it will assume you've checked that the user has opted in and will allow it. However, remember, you need to be careful here not to abuse this setting, as if Cineverse receives complaints about unsolicited SMSs from mobile users, your account can be shut down. With all this in mind, for testing purposes, you will want to turn this checkbox off. For production purposes, you need to make the choice of turning it on or off, depending on if you will let Cineverse manage users opting in or out for SMSs, or your app will. Returning to the live demo, we then substitute the consumer key, consumer secret, and access token fields we wrote down earlier from Cineverse, then finally press create. Having set up both Cineverse and MCS, the next thing you want to do is check that, well, actually sending SMSs works. As such, we can use the MCS notification screen to send an SMS to a test device. Within MCS, under the mobile backend, we select the notification screen. Before we can send out an SMS via the notification screen, we first need to register with MCS the device to send SMSs to via the Manage Devices option. To do this, we create a new device. Here, we optionally enter the username of the mobile device, then the notification token. Now, this is a poorly named field, as in the past, it represented a token for push notifications. For SMS, this field is meant to, in fact, store the mobile number you want to send the SMS to. So here, I have an internationally prefixed number for Australia with plus six one, and then the number. We in turn need to pick the client and profile for Cineverse that we set up earlier. Now do remember that when we set up the Cineverse account, you included a whitelisted number, so ensure the number you're using here for testing was included in the whitelist. Having done this, when we return to the notification screen, we can now create an SMS message. So we actually enter the message, and then we decide when we want to send it. Next, in order to send an SMS, you need to decide are you sending an SMS to a single user or are all users registered for SMS? For single user, we select sending to a specific device ID, and then we enter the phone number we want to send the SMS to. Alternatively, we can select notification service, then Cineverse, and this will send the SMS to all devices registered for SMS. Finally, when you're in position, to send the SMS. Now, of course, in the last set of steps, we manually registered the devices that we wanted to send SMSs to. But admittedly, in a production system, you won't want to be manually registering all your users. So you need to get the mobile client to register with MCS the device will accept SMS notifications from instead. Now to do this, ideally each MCS client SDK, those for iOS, Android, Windows and so on, provided for all the different mobile platforms, would provide the ability to register for SMS via their respective notifications class. Unfortunately, at the time this video was created, the SDKs don't yet have this ability, but we will very soon, so ensure to check the SDK documentation. So at the time this video was created, the alternative is you will need to call the REST API directly that the SDKs will eventually call instead. And you call this REST API from your mobile code. Essentially, you need to call the MCS Mobile Platform Devices Register Endpoint via a REST post call, passing in a JSON payload that looks like the following, including a notification token of the phone number of the device to register for SMS a notification provider of Cineverse in caps, then the mobile client details, including the app ID, version and platform, 
that corresponds with the mobile backend client you set up in MCS earlier. Now, as I said, by the time you view this video, it's well worth checking out if the SDKs actually provide this capability for you, saving you having to write a, REST, a raw REST API call yourself. Sometimes for us, our videos do get ahead of the feature releases. Anyway, overall, this is all that's required to send SMS messages by MCS and Cineverse. We hope you found this video useful, and again, I'll hope to catch you in another video very soon.